guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. I'm Keely, and in today's video, we are having our first ever winter hairstyles video here on this YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five quick and easy hairstyles for the winter time that you can do in five minutes or less. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. Hairstyle number one is the knotted messy bun. I saw this on Instagram and I've fallen in love with it ever since I first saw it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hair back into your hands, divide it into two sections so you're going to have a left section and a right section and then once you get your two sections divided you're going to basically tie your hair into knots now for my hair length it goes about down past the middle of my back and I tie it three times and then I wrap the ends around the rest of the bun and tie it off with one of my spiral elastic bands from Goody which I got at Walmart Hairstyle number two is the accent braid. This is super popular for this time of year and it is so simple, but it makes you look like you're so much more put together. So how you're going to do this is you're going to take a small section on top of your hair, preferably with you having a side part, and then you're going to divide it into three sections. Now, in my opinion, this does not have to be even. You don't have to have equally parted sections because this looks great either way it can either be even or it cannot be so then what you're going to do is you're going to do a reverse braid aka a dutch braid so you're going to take the right strand place it under the center strand then place the left strand under the center strand and after you do that once or twice you're going to incorporate hair as you're moving the braid along so what you're going to do is take your right strand add some hair to the right strand and then place both those sections underneath the center strand and repeat on the left side there are other tutorials that are way better at explaining this than me but you can probably tell way better by looking at the video itself after you get to your ear you're going to tie it off with a clear elastic band you can go further down if you want but i feel like this makes it seem more seamless and it's also easier to bobby pin and hide from plain sight now it's time to pancake. So if you've never pancaked before, pancaking a braid is basically to make it look more big, voluminous, and it just adds more texture. And then you're just going to bobby pin it in place behind your ear so that we can conceal our handiwork that we've done. Hairstyle number three is the Jasmine Braid. I love this so much and it's so simple yet so elegant and beautiful. The first thing that you're going to want to do is divide your hair in half. So as if you were going to pull half of your hair back, that is what you're going to do. And once you get that divided in half, you can use your hand or finger to help you divide it. You just want to smooth out the top of your hair as much as possible. I prefer to not use a brush for this because I want texture. It's that time of year where I love textured hairstyles. So me personally, I just do it with my hands. And then after you do that, you're going to divide that top section into three other sections. We're going to do a simple three strand braid. You guys can see what I'm doing in this video or you can find another video here on YouTube. But what you want to do is probably do three to four stitches of braids. So that's three or four times braiding and then tie it off with an elastic band. After you tie it off with an elastic band, then it is time to totally transform this hairstyle because it looks a little flat and it's not what we're going for. So when we pancake it, we pull it apart. We can pull it apart as much as we want, as little as we want, but this totally transforms the hairstyle because it makes it look voluminous, big, and it makes this look way more elegant than it was before it was pancaked. It is such a cool trick, you guys. Hairstyle number four is the traveling Dutch braid. So this is really simple to the accent braid that we did previously. The only difference is, is that we do this with all of our hair. So to start this hairstyle off, you're going to want to make sure you brush out any and all tangles because this is the hairstyle where you don't want tangles. So you're going to start this braid off the same way. Grab a small section from the top of your hair, preferably with a side part. Divide that into three different sections and then you're going to repeat the exact same steps as we did for hairstyle number two. But as a refresher, you're going to add hair in and then place the strands underneath the center strand. So as you guys can see in the video, you guys will probably get a better picture, but once you get under your ear, you're just going to keep repeating the steps until you run out of hair. Once you run out of hair, you're going to tie it off with an elastic band. You can go as far down as you want, or you can stop it halfway. It's really up to you. And then me personally, I try to get the elastic as tight as possible because I braid literally until the very ends of my hair. 
And then pancaking, you guys already know, I am in love with this trick. Hairstyle number five, the lazy updo. I saved my favorite and most used hairstyle for last. This one is super duper easy and all you need is a cloth clip. So to make this hairstyle and this beautiful updo, what you're going to do is start with pulling out a few pieces to frame your face, pull the rest of your hair back as if you were going to make a low ponytail, and then twist your hair upwards as if you were going to do a French updo. Then you're going to hold it, place the rest of your hair up and over your head, grab your cloth clip, and then you want to place the cloth clip about the middle of the back of your head. And you want to make sure it is secured in place so you can squeeze it shut like I am right here. And then throw your hair back over and boom, that is it. This is my most used hairstyle and also my number one fave. During this time of year, I think that it is so important for us ladies to get our textured hairstyles in. So if you guys couldn't tell, this can usually be used on straight hair, thin hair, thick hair, curly hair, wavy hair, all the hairs that you could imagine. And I strongly believe that this is the time for textured hairstyles. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are looking forward to and enjoying the holiday videos that are out thus far for this wonderful season, don't forget to hit that big subscribe button down below and also Today is the day. My first ever Vlogmas vlog is on my vlog channel. So if you guys want to join the Vlogmas fam, don't forget to go and subscribe to that channel. It is Keely's Life here on YouTube and it is linked down in the description box below. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you guys are staying nice and warm because currently in Texas, it is cold. It is actually cold between 20s and 30s. So I have the right to say that. So I really hope that you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.